My name is Nuria Brixey, I'm the health team leader at OPM and I'm based in London. My case study was uh, Rwanda and trying to understand the processes through which Rwanda has gone in implementing particular health systems reforms. And the two that we were looking at were community-based health insurance and performance-based financing. Rwanda was chosen because it is, uh, as a case study, because the country has made very notable progress when it comes to particular reforms, is known in the region and in the world for having done things a little bit differently. So we wanted to understand why they had made the choices they had made and how. So what it practically meant to understand the process through which Rwanda went was firstly to read up about it and understand what was known and not known, and then to go to the country, identify the key informants, the, the key people who were really behind the ideas in the first place, who were behind the implementation of those ideas and the evaluation of those ideas, interviewing them to understand not only the technical aspects, but also all of the processes that underpin the decision to go or not for a particular reform. Going to Rwanda indeed proved to be very interesting and supportive of one of the recommendations in this work in the sense that when Rwanda decided to, when Rwanda came out of the genocide, it was really a country that at every level was on its knees and had to reinvent everything, and in particular their health system, had to rebuild everything. And it was fascinating to listen to the people behind the reforms listen to how they did go outside to learn from others. They did try to assess the evidence by doing evaluations themselves and pilots. And then how they transformed eventually themselves in lesson takers to lesson givers. So they learned so much that they, and they accumulated so much expertise in that particular reform area that they then transformed themselves into a source of knowledge and understanding for other countries. And it was interesting to speak to the now new center of excellence that they have created there, that is coordinating about 65 study tours from other countries in the region to Rwanda. So the entire week was fascinating. Uh, meeting those people who were behind the reforms and really drove it was very interesting. But there are two moments that stand out for me. The first was the meeting with the, with the director general, the general director, um, who was such an inspiring person um, who did say that Rwanda did have lessons to share, but also was very keen to hear about innovations, to hear about what others were doing, so full of energy and, and vision which I thought was really nice to, to witness in someone so high up in the ministry. And the other key moment for me during that week-long visit was uh, going to the genocide memorial, which really brought home the extent to which the country had been damaged, including the health system, and how difficult it must have been for those reforming and rebuilding the country to, to, to do so and to achieve what they had achieved. The three words that I would use to describe the project are impact, human resilience, and hope. Impact because I think that there is a real potential through the work that we have done to increase the impact of the thinking that happens across the world when it comes to reforming health systems. I would use the word resilience, particularly in relation to the case of Rwanda, but to many other countries as well. It is amazing how determination and resilience uh, can transform a health system. But it really does take the hope of 
some visionary people, the hope of a population to listen to others and to implement those changes that they have, um, that they are pushing for. What is really exciting about this project is that it really puts the emphasis on countries. It takes many, many different people to support transformation at health system level in countries. But historically, the many, many different people have tended to come from the, those in the know that tend to be from those international universities, international institutions coming in with their fabulously well-researched and evidence solutions. This project, on the other hand, is saying, yes, there is all of this, but it really is at country level that transformation happens. All of this evidence, learning from each other, is essential, but it then needs to be um, thought about, owned, transformed by the country themselves. And hence the fact that this project is putting so much emphasis on the centers of excellence at national level, I think is a really exciting departure from a lot of what has happened in the past.